Why the basics work generally refers to uh, two very simple key body position drills we work continuously with at all levels, um, from novice through to fairly elite people that are uh, qualifying and have qualified for Kona amongst our, our swim lessons. And what they come down to is trying to promote this concept of uh, internal rotation being a sustainable and continuous movement coming through the body, th generated through the legs, through the hips, and creating a sustainable movement which allows the arms to do what they do best, and, and that is sort of create forward propulsion, moving you forward through the water, rather than acting as stabilizers, which is something we see an awful lot of realigning, recorrecting uh, a less than ideal body position. When we um, look at some of the uh, other swimmers trying out their full stroke front crawl, you'll see a lot of relationships between the arms and the legs and it should be quite clear what we mean by you know the difference between the two ways to create your rotation. If you're completely lacking any kind of rotation with the shoulders this low you cannot help but sweep those arms wide and generally if those arms travel wider than a, a certain set amount beyond the shoulders then there needs to be some counterbalance. Um, often it's with the legs, it's in this case sort of a whole body shift is being thrown around to create some balance. Um, here's sort of a closer look at what's happening when a leg kick is needed to basically stop you from rolling onto your back if those arms travel so wide again through a lack of rotation. And this lack of rotation generally comes from um, the fact is it's not too bad when you're breathing because it's being created through the breath, through the head wrenching up. Now unfortunately that does not help you when you're not breathing. Generally leaves you less than rotated. Um, and also it's not a, an ideal way to go about it because that violent movement leads to neck problems, it, it needs to a off-centered body position and again it needs those legs to counterbalance you. Here's sort of the width that that hand can take that, that extra time traveling way around the side of the body and it doesn't matter whether you go with the high elbow recovery or whether you sort of go with that rainbow sweeping up and over but you've just got to think that you need a, a narrow channel um, you've got a narrow channel along the side of the body that the hands need to travel alongside and, and stay within that travel too far away from the body and then the problems start generally as you've previously swum slower you've needed help coming up to the surface so you need that straight arm push down to try to lift you up to the surface and hence in that previous shot that was uh, somebody at about a 68 minute Ironman pace creating a splayed leg kick position um, to counterbalance that. This is sort of the difference between a, a previously a 68 now we're down to sort of a, a gentleman's generally puts in about a 62 minute performance. Things are a lot narrower, a lot tighter, and work a lot more effectively to just keep things moving forwards and straighter.